Hey guys, welcome to your Libra versus all 12 signs reading for January 2024. Uh, so first we're going to take a look and see what you guys need to know for January and then we'll finish off the read with you versus all 12 signs from Aries all the way to Pisces. Uh, just keep in mind that this portion is not timestamps because the messages are so quick so short it's not worth time stamping but if someone wants to do it for me uh you could feel free to do so thank you in advance if you do uh apply this to your own unique situation keep in mind that these are general messages take what resonates and leave the rest behind if this message didn't resonate with you you may take a look at your other placements keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective libra people not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular if you're looking for a reading that's tailored specifically to your unique situations and your energies i suggest you to Book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post and when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok and also on Instagram, the links for those are in the description box below. I do also um, have a YouTube channel uh, that's dedicated solely to travel if you guys are interested in following me on there. Um, yeah, uh, the link for that is also in the description box below. So tell me about Libra. Libra. What does Libra need to know for January 2024? What does Libra need to know for January 2024? What does Libra need to know for January 2024 for Libra? What does, Jan uh, what does Libra need to know for January 2024 for Libra? For Libra. Okay, so we have the star card here and the nine of wands. I feel like you're going through a period of healing here. Okay, I feel like you guys are really focused on that. Focusing on healing your traumas, your pain, your hurt here. Okay, anything from the past that you've been uh, accumulated that's been kind of like lodged in your physiology here, I feel like you're letting that go. You're releasing it. The star card here, Aquarius energy and the nine of wands. We have the f uh, eight of pentacles here and the uh, king of cups here. You know, with the eight of pentacles and the king of cups, I feel like um, I feel like you guys are definitely strongly working on yourselves right now, working on the relationship with yourself, Bur building that strong foundation here okay i do feel like you guys are definitely in this like very sensitive just this very um just this emotional time right now of releasing and just letting go of things that are no longer serving you here you know i feel like you guys are definitely moving forward you know and i feel like you guys are definitely hitting a crossroads in your life here you know because i feel like with the star card some of you guys could be realizing your life purpose here i do feel like with the nine of pentacles like you guys are working on yourself working on freeing yourself from past trauma here okay tell me the star card why is the star card here and the six of pentacles yeah you guys are definitely really committed and disciplined and consistent with working on yourself at this time here. All that energy is really going into yourself. You guys are definitely spending time on your own, introspecting, self-reflecting here. You guys are on this like spiritual journey. Yeah, spiritual journey of healing here, okay? So I feel like with the Eight of Pentacles here and also the Sun of Cups, I do feel like there's a lot on your plate at this time here when it comes to work. But with the Nine of Cups here, I do feel like you guys are definitely really happy and content with where you guys are at. You know that the Nine of Cups and the Nine of Pentacles is a representation of someone who, who's single and, and, and is doing really uh, fine and well on their own here. <laughs> we have the Fool card here, Aries energy, Aquarius energy. So... I just feel like you're just kind of like going along with the experience here, you know, you know, and, and just letting things naturally unfold as it should here. <coughs> okay, with the three of wands here, I feel like you guys might be considering moving, moving to a different location or something like that. I feel like you guys are definitely making some big plans to move in January here. Okay, tell me about Libra versus all tall signs. Tell me about Libra versus all tall signs. Tell me about Libra versus all tall signs from Aries all the way to Pisces. Tell me about Aries, Libra versus all tall signs. Tell me about Libra versus Aries here with the High Priestess and the King of Pentacles. Um, this person is just very secretive. Yeah, this person is just very secretive. If anything, I feel like this person is trying to read you. Yeah, they're trying to read you here. Okay, so uh, um, Libra versus uh, a Taurus here with the Empress here and the uh, Emperor. Um, this person's like in love with you. Uh, you guys are kind of like, you know, you guys are kind of like this high level soulmate 
pair. You know, just a power couple here. Okay, I feel like between you and this person, things are going pretty well here. Uh, 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 Libra. Libra versus a Gemini with the Five of Wands here and the Six of Cups. Whoever this is, I feel like this person is trying to fight their feelings here for you because I feel like this person is missing you a lot and they want to reconcile here with you. Uh, Libra versus a Cancer with the Five of Pentacles here and the Page of Cups. I feel like this person wants to apologize for ghosting you or leaving you out in the cold here. Okay. Uh, Libra versus a Leo. We have the Justice card and the Ten of Swords. This Leo is facing their karma for betraying you here. Okay, uh, the court of law could have gotten involved here too, because I feel like they could have been abused here. Uh, Libra versus a Virgo here with the Six of Wands here and the Knight of Swords. Whoever this is, I feel like this person finds you really, really, really attractive, and I feel like this person's like chasing you like hardcore. Okay, Libra versus a Libra here. The Tower and the Four of Cups here. Uh, it's hitting this person really hard that. Now that you're missing from their life, now that you're missing from their life, I feel like this person is really, really unhappy without you. Libra versus uh, a Scorpio. We have this Eight of Wands here and the Three of Swords. Wow. Um, I feel like this person broke your heart and took off. Uh, if you're looking for an apology from this person, you're not going to get it, uh, 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 Libra. Libra versus the Sad Cherries. We have Judgment here and the Six of Pentacles here. Um, whoever this is, I feel like this person's coming to realization that they want to invest their time and energy into you here. Okay? Uh, it might have taken some time here, but I feel like this person's definitely maybe changing their views about, you know, th their outlook in their future here with you. Uh, Libra versus um, a Capricorn with the Nine of Swords here and the Ten of Pentacles. Um, I do feel like this person is really stressed out about this relationship here with you for some reason. I'm um, not quite sure why. Yeah, I just feel like there's, um, I don't know, I just feel like there's a lot of people getting involved in this connection or that, you know, there could be like, you know, games and, and uh, mind games here and gaslighting here and manipulation. Um, tell me about uh, Libra versus Aquarius, a red temperance here and the king of wands here. This person feels really safe with you, uh, uh, Libra. Okay, this person feels very safe with you. Libra versus uh, uh, Pisces here with the world card here and uh, the queen of wands. Whoever this is, I feel like this person wants to end this connection here and leave this connection behind. Okay, I feel like this person is like over this relationship or over this connection here because I feel like this person's tired of the conflict. All right. Yeah, I do feel like there's conflicts. Uh, the conflict really stems from other people getting involved in this relationship here, uh, Libra, with this Pisces. Okay, so... Libra. That does it for all 12 signs, uh, you versus all 12 signs and what you need to know. I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will speak to you guys in the next one. All right. Thanks guys. Bye.